Sammy? 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 It's time to go back to it. Sammy? He's just shy. Don't worry. He'll be back soon. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are, wherever you're doing. It's me, Scotland's most wanted. I'm back after a stay of execution because of a faulty blood transfusion. And we're on our way to hopefully complete the Twilight Cathedral today. That's kind of where I want to be at a ballpark. So, in the last episode, we were introduced to the prologue. We were introduced to war and his, his reluctance to follow orders. And now we're on our way to make a deal with the devil, or the second in command of the devil, in Samael. And he asked us to bring a heart, a still beating heart. Not the weirdest request. And so we make our journey to the Twilight Cathedral. That's where we're heading. And he gave us the power of shadow flight. So we have the power of gliding and falling at a decayed rate, which is always great. I'm not meaning to rhyme. It's just how I live my life, line after line. This brings me to actually one of the most enjoyable parts of this game specifically. Uh, Darkseid is too touched on it, but this game, I think, for an early draft, actually did very well with it. And what I mean is the way that everything seems so transitional. There's not many loading screens, there's not many sort of uh, stutters or differences in, in environments. It's all very linear. You just feel like you're traveling from one area to the other. These are big areas, so unlike Dark, so uh, Dark Souls, wrong game. Unlike Darksiders 2, most of these areas don't really seem different. It's all just ruined earth. But there's a level of just movement from one place to another. They're all big areas. It's all it's all one big happy family, and I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. While I admire the the sort of mystical, fantastical, fantasy aspects of the second game, this one did very well at taking the concept of a ruined earth and mixing in those elements. The choking grounds. Okay, absolutely spiffing. I believe we're gonna trigger a cutscene in three, two, one. Three, two, one. <clears throat> I said three. Oh damn it! I meant to. I meant to transition. I swear there's a cutscene here, am I? <sighs> Not the cutscene I was expecting. But don't ever say I didn't make good on my word. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that's amazing. Take that. Blue. <laughs> there was something I made a mental note of while I was here. And I think it's this. So there's seven of these grave cross things. And I think when you destroy all of them, you get access to something. I can't remember what, but there's also this part here that has a, uh, a relic in it. it. Also, it's a big baba. Before Risk of Rain, there were these guys. <laughs> They're everywhere. Baba gets you everywhere, I'm telling you. Harpoon Tackle is very good for transitional abilities. It's kind of like in Darksiders 2, the uh, Reaper... Uh, what's it, the reaper counter thing, the dash, you know when you uh, dash at the right time and the reaper attacks, or the, uh, there's an ability you get for free, I can't remember what it's called, reaper something, if you are interested in what the hell I'm talking about, I do have a Darksiders 2 series, it was actually the first series I ever did on this channel, that's a lie, it was the first, uh, it was the first series I ever did on this channel, when I started to actually take the video thing kind of, Semi, semi seriously. Hoppa, hoppa, hoppa. You get one, and you get one, and you get one, and everybody gets a, a, a shoulder barge, and everyone gets a shoulder tackle, and you get a shoulder tackle, and 
and squish and you know the, 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 the squish and the squish and the s splat all right let's let's turn this volume down because <laughs> i can't hear myself think Boom. <laughs> the one little the one little shade trying to get in there Oh, give me a piece of him. Give me a piece of him. I can get him. Oh, that was actually quite smooth. That was smooth like butter. There we go. Nice. Okay. Move on to the next. Where are the rest of these crosses? Bonk. And then we'll trigger this cutscene. Efficiency. Speed. I have come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of Shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the Shadow Realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. If I remember right. Find where these shadow lurkers hide. Yes, and yes. Kill them all. <laughs> they can't be that hard to find. If I remember right, even these guys are voiced by Troy Baker. It's crazy to think that such a big name is is like doing so many background characters. I mean, Abaddon is one, and then he does these guys, which is two. I mean, he does them, I think, in the second game as well, and then he also does Draven. So that's awesome. But yeah, so now we have the power to see into the Shadow Realm. This is where all of the, uh, all of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh antagonists go once they lose their duels. <laughs> they go to the Shadow Realm, this is it. And it's basically just uh, challenges. That's basically the gist of this place. We do challenges, destroy the eyes, and then we move on. You shall be number 40. Beep. The Horn of Completion. The Horn of Completion is the most sacred horn amongst our people. For it signals the end of a journey. Block counter. That's what I needed. Oh, finally. That was the parry. Can we do it again? The parry. It fills me with hope. 
Hope of a better chance at survival. Hope of a better life awaiting me on the other side of this accursed Styx River. I can be melodramatic at times. I find it adds an entertaining flair. Make us bones. You have freed my people. Ancestors praise you. Ah, there's a cutscene here, right? There should be a cutscene here, the broken stair. Cutscene. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. No cutscene. Man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I thought I knew this game. Turns out I don't. I know the second one a lot better. Maybe I should speed run the second. I've always, I've always been enamored by speedrunning. The idea that you're very good at this one thing. <laughs> Everything else is like, <laughs> but this one thing? Yeah, don't worry, I can handle this completely. This one thing is mine. Just like this, it's mine. Mine, 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 mine. Look at all this destruct. Ooh, Volgrim, I seize it. I seize the, the amulets, I see the calling. The calling sign. I'm coming. I'm coming, Phil. If your name's Phil, I apologize. That sounds highly inappropriate. I feel bad for these guys. It's like, they're, they're just considered annoyances. It's kind of like the crackhead you have to just get through so you can get to the convenience store. Or like, you know, the crack edge you have to avoid making eye contact with as you exit the convenience store because you know they're going to ask for money. Hey, come on. Just a bit of money. Just a little bit. Can't you help a man out? I know it's American, and I've got no idea what they're like over there. But I know I know over here in the great, in the great United Kingdom, Always, always getting stopped to ask for a pound. Always getting asked to, to you know, got any weed on you. <laughs> now, there's a part coming up here that I'm quite dreading. Because you can only do it once. I'm going to make a save. So I'm going to make a save before we get there. So that I can go back and replay it. <laughs> again and again and again if I have to. Because it's quite finicky. And it's the, uh, the Griffin scene. Maybe I should just save now. Should I save now? I'll save now. Uh, data. Save game. There we go. One right there. Gosh, I haven't had to save a game in ages. What have I become? I've betrayed my PS2 roots. <laughs> my memory cards. My many memory cards that hold the memories of my childhood. You know, that's... That's, that's, a, that's a travesty, man. What has the cloud done to us? What has Steam libraries done to us? What has PlayStation Store done to us? Or Xbox Live? Apart from taking your money, what have they done to us? <laughs> to us gamers. <laughs> okay, I've, I've, I've had enough of being an old man. Let's fly. <laughs> That's crazy. One day we might be able to say that, just casually. <laughs> Mother, please. I must attend school right now. It's schooling hours. I'm going to miss my flight. Whoa. I never actually realized they came out of a building. I mean, it seems like we're going to get our next health bar right now. We've actually done pretty well at gathering life, life uh, shards. So let's go grab it. And grabby, grabby, grabby. Grabby, grabby. There we go. Squeeze. Le squeeze. One, 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 one. 
Nice. One, 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 two. Damn, what could have been? Okay. Now here, I believe, is where things get a bit serious. I should save here. Ah, uh, too late. I've been interrupted by a scripted cutscene. I could try and kill it. Should I try and kill it? I could use the souls. And I can't remember if you get anything from it. But the game's trying to usher you to go towards the building, but I'm kind of I'm kind of like I'm kind of like a gamer. I'm I'm a super gamer, so maybe I could. Oh wait, I'm supposed to kill it. But it's okay, we got it. Nice. Sure you can. Nice. A little messy. A little messy. I want to clean up my combos a bit more. But, job done. Okay, now cutscene. Oh, I love Lipsaw, man. I love Lipsaw so much. It's such a nice ability. Turn yourself into a Beyblade of Destruction and rain down upon your enemies with fervor and rage. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay, smash the chest, open it up, grab the key. The Beholder's Key. We love that. We love beholding things. I love beholding things. You ever beholden something? Beholden? Be beheld? Behilden? Behilden? <laughs> and now. 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 It's cutscene time. Okay, time to lock in. I can't remember what the number is. But I think it's something ridiculous. It's a ridiculous number. God, this is horrendous on a gamepad. This is absolutely horrendous on the gamepad. <laughs> Why is the sensitivity so high? This is actually really, really sensitive. Can I change that? Sorry, I know it's kind of like killing immersion, but... Oh, it's because that's so high, isn't it? But it's... Oh, I just gotta deal with it. Just deal with it. Come on. 
I'm nothing if not adaptable. Damn it, I missed them. I still got souls though, so where did those come from? Maybe I killed it. Good shit, good shit. Damn it, I missed. Fuck me, man. It's such a freaking tight, um... It, it's such a tight window. Well, not tight window, but it's so sensitive. I know I'm supposed to shoot the things, but I'm so concerned with just... Getting this all, like, killing them. It's so sensitive, stop it! It's so sensitive. Maybe I should use keyboard and mouse. No, I can't. I'm on gamepad only. It's fucked up, but... I don't know. It's weird. But we're out of the city now, and we're flying towards... Uh, who knows? This doesn't seem very good. Stop being so freaking sensitive. Well, that's not going to really fix it now, is it? I'm just going to have to do the best I can. Oh, sugar. I didn't realise the fire. I'm just so locked in trying to get this shit done. eating it. I'm just eating it. I'm just eating it. I'm eating it all. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nice. Just eat it. Just to get through it. Alright. Nice. Nice. I, I don't think I'm going to crack. I think it's like 161. 164. I don't think I'm going to crack it because I think we're almost there.
I'm so locked in. I really hope I can get this. Oh shit. I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing. I'm missing prime kills, prime kills. Mmm, nah, I don't think so. I'm being a bit pessimistic right now. I'll admit it. <gasps> I did it! I did it! Oh! It's, I did it! 160! 160! Just before the end! Oh, crap, man. That's a weight off my shoulders. Quick, some few hits on Tiamat. <sighs> Vindication. Tiamat, I assume. Guess she wasn't up for having visitors today. Vindication. Holy vindication. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The hardest achievement, I would say, in the game. Done. And with incredibly high sensitivity at that as well, so doubly, doubly deserved. I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. And I think that's, you know, after I kill these three bats, I think that's a perfect place to stop. Stop on a good note before we enter one of our biggest dungeons. Our big LD. I mean, every everything in this game is an LD at this point. Um, from the dry road to Silitha's lair to the uh, the Grievers' lair, I think they're all LDs. But this this one's going to be quite big, and I'm happy to just stop here. So yeah, we'll we'll make them small little episodes, and uh, I'm happy with that. In the next episode, we'll take on the Twilight Cathedral. And you've already got to look at the boss, Giant Bat, Tiamat. Again, I'm rhyming and I'm not even trying. So, with that being said, uh, I have been your public enemy number one. And from me to you, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.